Osat Lepak people, I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, it's me Waida, I'm doing a solo video for now. I've been talking a lot about revamping Lepak Asia. So this video is uh, some sort of just giving you guys an update. Uh, giving you guys an idea of what we're gonna do. Uh, our travel plans or any other side projects. <laughs> so um, I've been talking to two of my friends, uh, they've been wonderful critics, uh, they've given me quite useful tips, advices and suggestions. We would like to market Lepak Asia as a brand, I mean why not? You know, uh, I've been told that the name Lepak Asia is a really 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 good name, I'm really happy about that. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't that hard to get the name Lipa Asia right? because you know Malays Lipa I've been slammed that I'm too serious so expect some lame jokes from me you've been warned this is my shit shit by the way Lina and I we sort of uh, grown out of that holiday we want to travel with uh, an awareness about the country. It's not just about being a tourist and taking nice pictures. I mean, we enjoy that, but we also want to immerse ourselves in the history, the culture, uh, the language, the food. Uh, we want to know more about the country in terms of like, uh, maybe there's a legend about the country, there's some folklore and we would like to share that with you guys so Lipa Asia is a platform for us issues about the country that you know something more uh, in-depth we do like being a tourist you know it's easy for us but we, we still like to go in-depth about the country we do not just want to scratch the surface We would like to venture into short films as well. Uh, nothing has been confirmed yet, but hopefully soon, 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 soon. I would love to dive into short films. It would be fun. Uh, our travel plans. Uh, unfortunately, now we won't be traveling for 2015. Uh, but I still, I would still want to travel. So I'm sorry, Lina. Um, my plan is to go to Ubud, uh, so it's like a solo travel kind of thing. Uh, why Ubud? I don't know. All I want to do is to learn the Balinese dance, that's all. I think most likely in April or May. Uh, I haven't booked anything yet, I'm still researching on some stuff, uh, possibly do my short film there. Yeah, first solo travel, so it will be an experience. Oh my god, in my shot. Get away. Hello, hello. Uh, November 2015, I'm going back to Cambodia, my hometown. Uh, I'm gonna visit another part of Cambodia though. It's not just Siam Reap again. Uh, I think I will probably still drop by Siam Reap, but uh, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going I'm gonna go to another place called uh, Bantej Mall. It's uh, near to the border to Thailand. Then Myanmar in 2016. Early 2016, maybe March I think. I'm not too sure. Uh, Bagan, Inlay. Um, because uh, the, uh, the Burmese people, they are uh, celebrating their water festival during that time so I would love to experience that and Afghanistan that would be wow that would be so cool you know to visit Afghanistan hopefully 2017 or 2018 so you should know by now that uh, I'm madly in love with Cambodia so um, uh, I mentioned before that I'm gonna visit Cambodia again uh, next year 
the Cambodians will be celebrating their water festival as well uh, in November and November is my birthday month birth month sorry birthday month birth month Banti Chumar uh, is a different kind of tourism there it's a community based uh, enterprise or something so for example when you book a tour you book a driver you pay the tickets to the temple uh, a portion of the sales a portion of the revenue will go to the community themselves you know, in terms of uh, educating the villagers uh, like how to maintain temples appreciate uh, the temple ruin so you know that is their history so it's I think it's important for them to realize the importance of the history preserving the history my previous trip to Cambodia uh, the, the whole point was to volunteer uh, I have never volunteered before so it was uh, my first time volunteering uh, it was good it was really awesome I enjoyed myself you know meeting friends uh, get to go to the Cambodian village see how the houses look like the, the plantation the cows the chickens the, the ducks they have everything in the backyard so it was really cool it was really really nice to see something different uh, I enjoy myself so much uh, building the water filters was hard installing them was yeah it's quite hard it was hard you know you, you get all sweaty and stuff but it felt really 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 good and water for Cambodia is a it's a great organization so if you guys want to volunteer ch do check out water for Cambodia it's a great NGO you know providing providing clean water to Cambodian I would like to contribute again to water for Cambodia but this time around there would be no middlemen uh, I volunteered through Singapore International Foundation uh, they were the middlemen they, they were the ones who who you know look for volunteers and stuff I would just go in there and crash the party Mana tahu dapat dating dengan abang I love